All right, everybody, time to talk about the new Black Ops 3 beta. Is it good? Is it bad? How does the game feel? What's the mobility like? Uh, all that kind of stuff. Let's go through it. So to start things off, this game is pretty much marketed as being all about the mobility, right? How you can wall run, you can slide, you can have a jetpack, you can do all this crazy cool stuff and get around the map in ways that you've never experienced before and whatever. And... Um, Frankly, I'm here to say that none of it is done well whatsoever. It all feels pretty terrible. So, let's go back. What what are your actual mobility options to begin with? What are the cool things that you can do in this game to get around? Well, obviously you can sprint, whatever. That's always been a thing. You can jump. Big surprise there. Um, you have a jetpack in this one. So, unlike your exosuit that just in Advanced Warfare that gives you boosts in different directions... Uh, in this game, you have a, like just a traditional jetpack, so you press spacebar once to jump, and you can't press it once and hold it to use your jetpack. You have to press it, and then press again and hold on that second one in order to uh, actually gain the benefit from your jetpack actually firing. Next up, you have your ground slide, pretty similar to Advanced Warfare. Um, same exact control scheme in order to perform that. Only issue is that, just like in Advanced Warfare, you have to rebind your keys in order to actually perform the slide. Um, if you try to start sprinting and then press your control key to crouch, like everybody does for the most part, I think, uh, you're actually just going to go instantly go to prone. So they wanted to cater the default controls to drop-shotting kitties, I guess, instead of actually, you know proper mobility and movement like the game is supposed to be about so that's out the window so you got to rebind your controls um to make it so your control button will change stance so it'll allow you to switch between standing and crouch or if you hold it you go prone and if you have it set to that option then while you're holding shift to um to run if you switch over to control you will do a power slide so okay fine that works but uh, the issue with the power slide, that's what I'm going to call it from now on. I have no idea if that's the real name, but that's what I'm calling it. Um, the issue with the power slide in this game is that unlike Advanced Warfare, you actually lose momentum at the end of your slide. So in Advanced Warfare, at the end of the slide, if you were to jump and begin bunny hopping, you have built some nice momentum for yourself. And you can start, you know, start moving and moving and moving and bunny hopping and bunny hopping and going fast and... All that great stuff, fine. You know, you, you you can get your mobility started with a power slide. In this game, when your power slide concludes, you actually lose momentum. You get slowed down by a lot. And this is a common theme of all your mobility options in this game as, we, as I go through them one by one. You're slowed down at the end of your slide. So it's not used for mobility purposes, really. I mean, you can use it in engagements to kind of like see somebody and then instantly like swing your mouse left, tap control and slide laterally from that person and then swing back and try to shoot at them that way. Um, that's something that you can do and could be pretty cool, but you know, or if you're playing domination and you want to get on that capture point like the last millisecond uh, to get those 200 points for capturing the point that you did nothing to help your team with, uh, just get those free points for your score streaks. It's good for that, too. So there's that, I suppose. And I'd like to actually take a second to go back to jumping really quickly. So in this game, when you jump, just a standard space bar jump, and that's it. When you land, again, you lose momentum. So this is, like I said before, this is a common theme throughout uh, Black Ops 3. Everything you do causes you to lose speed and slow down. So... What, what does this mean? Why is this an issue? Well, this means that they have eliminated bunny hopping from Black Ops 3 entirely. Like in Advanced Warfare where you could bunny hop around and actually gain momentum and get around a map a little bit more quickly. With, you know, with a big, with a big skill requirement attached to that, I might add. Um, that's just completely out the window now. Oh, and it actually would actually kind of silence you as well, because it was quieter to bunny hop around than it was to actually sprint on the ground if you weren't using, like, dead silence or whatever. So there was that there was that factor, too. Um, so bunny hopping is eliminated. Everything slows you down. So obviously this is a game that is, from the ground up, built to, you know, be a slow, controlled, you know, team-based pushing movement kind of game. Um, but at the same time, it has 
absurdly low time to kill, but I guess that's typical for Call of Duty. So, my, my, my main question is, why do these mobility options even exist in the first place? Why are we able to wall run? Why are we able to have a jetpack? Why are we able to do all this crazy movement stuff if we're not able to gain momentum from it and we're actually punished by moving slowly and becoming, you know, an easy target for doing any of it? Um... Before I get too much farther ahead, I suppose I need to talk about wall runs, because I haven't done that yet. So, with wall runs, uh, these are like the most lethargic, like, molasses-covered thing that, like, that I've experienced in this whole game so far. So, basically, what's up with the wall runs is, if you compare them to Titanfall, now, I'm, you know... I don't really, I'm not going to like make the claim like, oh, they stole from Titanfall or whatever. I really give exactly zero cares about any of that. What matters to me is that there is wall running in this game. Okay, fine, whatever. Does it perform well? And the answer to that is, again, no, it does not perform well. If you go to jump on a wall and start wall running, you kind of will hang next to the wall uh, for... I don't know, a quarter second, a half second, before you actually latch onto the wall and start running. If you were to compare that to Titanfall, when you jump up next to a wall, you instantly grab that wall and start running on it. Advanced Warfare, or not, and that's, this isn't Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, rather, has just, there's just a delay before you actually will grab that wall and start running on it. And it's really, really a problem, at least in my opinion. It's just... I don't know, just not good. Doesn't feel good, feels like you're playing in molasses, um, but okay, whatever. So the wall runs are a little slow, but they're functional. They work as intended for the most part. Okay, cool, that's fine. But the other thing that's really upsetting to me about them is that, again, when you jump off the wall from a wall run, you lose momentum. So you, 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 you're running on the wall, you know, like, just imagine you're sprinting on that wall, you know, huffing and puffing away, and you go to jump off, and you, you expect to to be flung from that wall, you know, because instead of jumping straight up, you're jumping um, perpendicular to that wall. You would imagine that you're going to get a lot of speed from that. Well, as it turns out, um, no, no, you don't. You actually, again, lose speed, and you kind of just fall right there. It's, um, it's really heartbreaking, actually, that this game could have been so cool it could have been the next step for call of duty and instead they just made the mobility options terrible they made you extremely slow and lethargic and just i don't know it just they they seem to have done everything wrong in my opinion with their mobility choices and it's really frustrating to try and play this game and deal with all of that so with all that said just some other little quirks with the game is like for one I think that the default controls for this game are, are really, really, really weird and make absolutely no sense. Um, it took me, you know, a couple of games to realize that, like, nothing that I expected to be, like, the default control was the default control, and I had to change over half of my, my control bindings to make them actually make sense. So if you're playing on PC, just make sure you check that out before you start playing. Make sure that all your key bindings are logical because the default ones, in my opinion, are kind of ridiculous. Um, moving past that, we have drop shotting in this game. In Advanced Warfare, it seemed like drop shotting was kind of nerfed. Like there, I don't remember what exactly about it was, um, was a little suboptimal, but... It was suboptimal to do, right? Like, you didn't really want to do that, because it would kind of gimp you. In this game, it's actually very much so beneficial for you to drop shot people. There's no delay in your shooting, there's no, um, like, spread in your uh, hip fire spray. You're actually going to be just instantly becoming more accurate throughout uh, the whole animation. Like, there, there is no... Um, I don't want to say counterplay because it's not the right the right word, but like there's no downside. There's no downside to drop shotting people, really. Um, it's they they I I, um, I think that Advanced Warfare had something, right? I think there was something in Advanced Warfare that discouraged drop shotting, even just a little bit. And whatever that was that was in Advanced Warfare and is not in this game. And the reason I don't even know what it was is because I don't drop shot just out of principle. I think it's a really stupid thing to even exist. I think proning is stupid, like, but you know, I just don't like this kind of game, I suppose. So 
drop shotting in this game is in full effect from previous Call of Duties. Like, there is nothing nerfed about it or, you know, discouraging about it. It's at full power and blah, blah. I, that was just my feeling about it is blah. Um, apart from that, um, I am very, very disappointed in the performance of this game. But I guess we have to keep in mind this is a, a beta after all. It's not a full release. You know, all the optimizations are, I suppose, are probably not there. But the optimization that does exist in this beta, I think, is so poor that I don't have a lot of confidence in Infinity War being able to make it, um, like, better enough that it's even, like, really passable. So, right now, the gameplay that you're seeing on the screen at this moment is at 1080p with a... Um, with no resolution downscaling occurring, because that is one of the in-game settings, by the way, is you can downscale or upscale your, your resolution, which is very, very odd, but whatever. It's a thing. That's mine is set to just 1.0 of a factor, so it's just, the game is playing at the resolution I tell it to play at. So, playing at 1080p, all settings on the lowest that they will possibly go, everything is turned to off or low, and I'm holding steady at 60 FPS. Now, my monitor is currently set to a 90 hertz refresh rate and is capable of 120. Now, I don't play at 120 because I know my hardware isn't strong enough for 120. Um, but it's good enough for 90. And in this game, playing everything on low, everything turned off, um, with you know no resolution downscaling at 1080p, I am not able to achieve 90 FPS smooth. Um, I can achieve about 80. But it's, that doesn't really make a difference because my um, FPS is constantly changing. It really affects your ability to aim when your FPS is constantly bouncing around all over the place. At least it does for me. So it's just not really an option, right? Like I have to um, tell the game to limit itself at 60. Thankfully, there is an option in the settings to uh, limit your game's refresh rate to 60 hertz. So... Thankfully, that is an option, and that is what I have limited it to, so there's that. That's great. Um, but still, the fact that I have to play everything on absolute, like, poopy low settings at 1080p when I have a 1440p monitor in order to achieve um, just a baseline 60 FPS is very, very poor in my opinion. I can play Titanfall at 1440p on medium settings at a pretty smooth 90 fps and if i drop everything down to low it's a guaranteed smooth 90 fps i don't drop anything even when crazy stuff is happening 1440p um i don't know i i don't think call of duty is a visually demanding enough game to really warrant not being able to perform even at a low resolution like 1080p and then okay i i guess i should take my you know my my PC Master Race uh, pants off here. I shouldn't call 1080p a low resolution, but you know, in comparison to what I am used to, right? Like I am used to playing 1440p. 1080 just kind of doesn't. It doesn't feel that good to me, right? Like someone who plays on 4K is going to say 1440 just doesn't feel good to them because they're used to 4K. Same thing. So I don't know. I I'm not impressed with how performance works in this game. Hopefully they can improve it, but I am not holding out a lot of hope. And uh, actually what I'll go ahead and do is I did record um, a gameplay while playing at absolute low settings and um, with the resolution downscale set to 50%. And it's unbelievable how awful this game looks. Like, it looks, it looks terrible. It looks like it comes out of 2008. Like, it just... The game does not look good in any sense of the word. So... I'll, I'll leave you with Vespolo's aimbot here on this pistol kill, which I, I think was pretty well done. Um, I'll go ahead and play that clip for you guys. I think that's about all I've got, you know, all the complaining I have within my system here. Um, long story short, not a fan of the game. Mobility sucks. Performance sucks. Uh, their design choices with drop shotting is really, really, really poor in my opinion. The only good thing about this game, like the only redeeming quality in my opinion, is the fact that it doesn't have um, those stupid, like, variations of guns like Advanced Warfare had where, like, one gun had, like, 12 different versions and, like, only two were viable and they're elites that you can't freaking get because it's all RNG-based. Um, that system is gone, thankfully. So, good on you, Treyarch, I guess, for not doing that. Everything else is ridiculous. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys. Thanks. We'll catch you later.